डियर प्यूर एफ बी व्यूअर्स गुड इवनिंग वंस अगेन वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग दिस सेशन टुडे एक्चुअली वी आर डिस्कसिंग वीडियो बेस्ड प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन बाइपोलर एन ब्लॉक एन्यूक्लिएशन ऑफ प्रोस्टेट द स्पीकर इज डॉक्टर डॉन्ग हु इज वेल नोन सर्जन इन दिस टेक्निक इन फैक्ट यू मेट ऑफ ऑल नोन हिम ही इज अ वेरी एक्टिव इन इंटरक्टिव सेशंस इन वेरियस प्लेटफॉर्म्स ऑलवेज अप्रिशिएट द वर्क एट द सेम टाइम very dynamic in commenting the negative parts or if at all any discrepancy is there in the description of the technique also he is bold enough to express that that is a feature i like let us listen from him dr dong i okay. thank you once again for giving the opportunity good evening my pleasure Chandra and good evening, uh, Chandra and uh, attendant in the uh, urology. First of all, I want to thank you, you for inviting me to share my experience on the popular education of the prospect. And uh, yeah. now Dr. I Wong, actually I want to ask you uh, uh -huh. the uh, the when when after finishing your training, when did you start and how you developed interest in who is your mentor in bipolar education? Uh, my, my first mentor is was a Song Yong Cho. He's from Korea. I studied with him uh, in two thousand nineteen, and after training with him, I go to Italy, in the Torino, uh, training with Doctor Scopone. But for the time when the training is a uh, collab, you laser to enucleation, and when I was back to Vietnam because uh, the instrument is not uh, available for. Laser assistant education. So I changed my technique and my skill from laser to bipolar. Oh, very good. Uh, how many how many cases you might have performed by this time? Uh, 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 bipolar enucleation of prostate. Very very few people in India does this. Bipolar TRP. Lot of people does. Yeah. Uh, in my experience. I think at least twenty cases to be young the learning curve. Very but good. Actually, uh, yeah. But actually, you know, I always record all my video clip about parabola, and I always learn from my mistakes. I watch it again, again, my video clip, and I learn, I learn it. But I think that twenty cases is a uh, learning curve. Mm -hmm. uh, with that, uh, we are right on the time. I will share the screen and introduce you. Uh, okay. Five o'clock now in Indian time. I think it's seven fifty-five in Vietnam. It's This is today's PM. talk. Uh, session starts at five. Video-based surgical presentation on bipolar N-block resection of prostate by Dr. Dong Nguyen. Uh, as you all know, as I already mentioned, Dr. Dong is very dynamic eng urologist who is known to the world by this time, at least in Asian countries. he is very well known very friendly very active in social media interactive also and uh, one good thing is that he discusses with open mind he always oh, yeah. ask questions with open mind he is a consultant urologist from bin ban hospital vietnam 2017 first urologist doing supine pcl in vietnam that is always great because one has to do experimentation when you do in your country first time he did fellowships uh, sadito hospital jakarta indonesia snhu cl korea ketalong hospital torino italy different places honestly specially focused on endo urology i have already done one program with dr dong uh, a to z pcnl in which he presented partly supine pcnl minimally invasive surgery for the kidney stone ureteral stone and urogenital tumors he is interested teaching and sharing knowledge to general practitioners is interest which should be there interpreting for the conference uh, with uh, foreign doctors annual participating urology meetings more than that he is very friendly i like your behavior 
I have seen his videos. With this introduction, I will hand over the program to Dr. Dong. Dr. Dong, over to you. Uh, thank you, Chandra, and good evening to all my friends. And first of all, I want to thank you, uh, you for inviting me to the live program in the Purology. And I hope that your platform, Purology, will well develop to share knowledge to all doctors all over the world. And I will start my presentation about uh, uh, using the bipolar to enucleation the process. Uh, yes, please go ahead. Oh. Oh, my what? Uh, where's the Oh. Yeah. Screen is shared. Uh, screen uh, share, okay. you Close the Zoom. You directly go to PPT. What happened? Uh, no problem. You okay? Uh, you can you can mini, you can exit and then uh, restart. Uh, you can uh, you can close the share the screen and go to your computer and restart the PPT. Don't exit. Okay. Okay. Uh, it is can already there. It? Yes. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Okay. I will start. Yes. Enlarge the screen. Okay. Can you see it? Yeah, perfect. Okay, uh, I start my presentation about a totally uh, popular integration the process. Uh, first of all, I will talk to you about, I know all of you will be very familiar with the CRP, that means rejection of the process. And with the rejection of the process, there's a lot of problems. This is the, the study about the rejection of the process in the Germany, and you see that there's a lot of complication about the transfusion rate, about Europe active syndrome, the reopen the surgery, UTI, the failure, even the mortality, and all the percentage of the uh, mortality increase with the volume of the process. And the second thing is, in my opinion, CRP is not in complete treatments for uh, process because even you are very good skill at the CRP, but the percentage of volume adenoma uh, rejection is only less than 50% in all the volume of the process. And there's a question about, is this a CRP? Is a gold standard or the standard treatment in the PBS? Otherwise, the top down rejection the TRP concept is still a standard in the treatment of the PBS because uh, TRP's result is all is very depend on the process, the shape, uh, the the process with the middle club, and with the middle club, the process volume also affects to the result of the TRP. And by you by you go to the from top to down you always open the vascular lumen and if it leads to uh, bleeding and and uh, 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 absorption fluid to the, uh, the, the, the the vascular and and the next the last thing therapy is not complete procedure for prostate so i think that uh, the reoperation a long time uh, follow up is not good as therapy that's why the concept do not go, you go follow the capsule, the circus capsule to take out on the adenoma and to avoid open the vascular of the prostate is the main idea for nowadays treatment of the PBH. And the first integration the process uh, presented by Dr. Hiroka from the last century, 1980s in Japan. And I just, uh, when I read his, uh, his study, the first study, I always see that his idea and his skill is very similar with the uh, totally end block and uh, the anatomy that he presents. Even the first study 
of endoplasm if, if nowadays it's still uh, continue using. But the big, uh, big, uh, big uh, announce of the endoplasm is from uh, Peter Gilling. He used the uh, laser to endoplasm, chromium laser to endoplasm the process. And uh, this is uh, in the 1986. It, his skill is a, about g love technique. And he used a very high power laser, with must laser. And today, there's a variety of energy sources to endoclation. Uh, there are two groups. First group is the laser assist endoclation. Okay, you, you can use the homium, you can use trillium gas, green light laser on the uh, new block, new, new, new toys is a trillium fiber laser. And uh, for the second group, you can use the uh, electro surgery with the monopolar device, but I think that uh, nowadays the monopolar device is not uh, 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 used uh, so much. And, and my choice always uh, more common is a popular device. And the meme by Professor Thomas Herman in 2017 is the uh, endoclation, endoclation, is endoclation. That means that he's changing the paradigm up from the energy to conception. So it means that uh, uh, the most important is not depends on the energy, but depends on you follow the capsule, you follow the template to a nucleation. And from 2015, the hashtag EAET become to the, uh, go to the EU guideline because up to randomized controlled trial, a uh, comparison on kind of enucleation uh, with the laser, with the barbular, with open surgery. So because of the advantages of enucleation, anatomic enucleation, so they go to the EU guideline and still in the EU guideline until now. And when you started to do enucleation, the first question is always how to choose in the energy to enucleation. Because choosing in the energy is uh, very depends on your hospital, your uh, money, and even your, your skill. Because, because each energy has a different interaction to the process tissue. And, uh, and, it, and when you choose in the energy, you must know the physics of your energy. You must know how to use it. You must know what the complication that that caused by your uh, choices. And the last thing is the financial. And for the Peter killing on the study about the whole lab, complete treatment for PBS, he, he also mentioned about the choosing about energy. Nowadays, depends on the marketing uh, commercial consider not only actually based on the, the science. And my choosing for enucleation is a popular device uh, because I was trained in the therapy with bipolar. And for my opinion, the digestion uh, to enucleation is easier to start uh, to identify the plan. And for the bipolar device, I think it's cheaper uh, investment than laser. And using the plasma performing uh, pocket from the popular device, it's a less thermal effect to the capsule. And the plasma is temperature is uh, the same with the cone cutting. So I would say about the plasma kinetic created by the popular device. So in the popular device, they use uh, high energy from the electron to uh, to changing the gas the the liquid the not not more saline to the gas and that is uh, uh, plasma and the plasma energy uh, vaporize the tissue so there's no uh, no electron no uh, go to the tissue just only the plasma created by the by the energy and the plasma interacts to the to the tissue. So you see that this is a temperature causing by the plasma, and you see that the plasma is it's just 
The same with the body temperature is around 40 to 45 degrees of Celsius. It's different with the monopolar energy. And you see when you use a bipolar uh, to enucleation, you see some uh, um, uh, yellow, yellow uh, clouding. That is the plasma pocket activates the sodium ion of the, uh, the, the, the natri chloro. And nowadays there's a lot of technique in the enucleation. This is a study about uh, the current circle technique, Professor Song Yong Oh, he's a professor from Korea. When you read the, his uh, article, there's a lot of technique for nucleation about three love technique, two love, one love, and total, totally M block. And there's a lot of uh, technique to preventing the threat incontinence because the threat incontinence is always the problem when you start it to do enucleation. And my M, M block uh, power up is, uh, I always using the totally M block because in my opinion, totally M block, you may have to step in the time because you always find in the plan only one time. And when you do the totally M block, your space is very confined and that makes your irrigation if it's strongly in the very concise state and you can see clear. And I always do be preserving the, the paraferal region to uh, preventing the ejaculate, uh, ejaculation. And I do the early apical releasing to stop and to preventing the early spread incontinence after the pipolab. So my device of the pipolab, I use the uh, the device from Olympus. Uh, this is the, uh, uh, the device for Pavlov. You see that in this device, you see there are two parts. The black is two parts. The first part, the upper part, I do it for blunt digestion. And the second part, I do it for testing and coagulation. And this is my step for do the Pavlov at totally end block. The first, I do the marcation using the, the cutting mode, the, marca the marcation between the line of the external sphincter and the adenoma. Uh, the marcation around the peru area. So the marcation, so when I am uh, confused about the, the plan, I will go back to the, go back to the, the marcation and to find the, the border between the adenoma and the uh, ethanol sphincter. After I demarcation, I enucleation around the vero, and uh, I always enucleation the posterior first, and use this at the reference plan uh, to do the lateral. And when I reach to the twelve o'clock, I always cut the ventral flap to completely uh, releasing the adenoma away to the external sphincter. And why and why release totally the adenoma out of the external sphincter, I now I pull up the adenoma to the bladder. And I pull up it, it check enucleation on the adenoma in only one uh, one lock and complete it. And this is my video clip uh, to show you my technique about a totally a block. Yeah. Okay. You see that I use the black with two parts. The first part, upper part is the black for plant enucleation and the metallic one lower is for the circulation and testing. I go back to see the ethanol sphincter and I just uh, the marcation about the uh, ethanol sphincter a little bit. Very good quality. Yeah.
when I confused about the line, I, I, I go back to see clearly the Exynos Sphincter. And like just, a, just better, think better just to do about, error proximally. Better what? to do error a little proximally. What? If at all you have to do error, better to do proximally. Okay, uh, we will we'll discuss later. Okay. 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 And now I, I, I always uh, preserving the paraveral region. So I started above the the, the veru, about one centimeter, uh, a few centimeter above the veru, and I connect the line. You see that I not go nearly to nearly to the veru. I go just up yeah. far yeah. because I I think that that technique will be. Uh, preventing the ritual ejaculation. Now I connect it. Yeah, from the, because I have, I, I'm a right handed. So I do on the left side first, and then I do the same thing on the, uh, the, uh, the right side later. Yeah, connect to the line to here. And now I start to enucleation, you see that, uh, yes, I use the first part of my enucleation to plan dissection. You see, I use the first part to plan dissection and I try to enter to the surgical capsule. Okay. Yeah. And the first step always I enucleation uh, around the burrow to make it like a reference plan before I go uh, lateral. I use the second path, the up lower path to uh, circulation and resection. Uh, again, because I am a right handed, so I do on the left side first. You see the, the lower path for. Uh, uh, dissection and coagulation, and the upper path for endoplasm. You see that now we, we excellent, excellent. We, Appreciate yeah, we can we see that there's a soap capsule, and from the left side, I use this to move to the right side. Okay, yeah, yeah, I move to the right side. Uh, yeah, always. You see that this is the adenoma, and below it is the third capsule. Yes, yes. And when I uh, enucleation around the barrel, I will start to, to do lateral enucleation. And I do on the left side first, always. Uh, okay. And I use the plan around the barrel as a reference plan. So whenever I doubt about the, the plan, I go to the around the barrel to, to find it. You see that I go back to see the the marcation that I planned before I enucleation. And when I feel some resistance, I cut in it. I cut in yeah, I cut in. I cut in. Uh, under the 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 the, the, the vacation that I do it before, and I endoclination. And when I feel some resistance, I just go back and cut again, and go very little, little until I reach to the twelve o'clock. Yeah. I do it very gently, I, and I may, never force. Very gently. When, when I feel some tiny bit, uh, I use the lower part of my resection for flat to calculation. And I will try to switch to the, uh, the 12 o'clock. I do the same on the left side. You see, I do a, on the right side. This is on the right side. When I feel some resistance, I put back and cut in the wildlife that I demarcation before. You see, I cut it. And then I go again and endoclation. And 
when you see some data are calculation. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. And you, you see that I go very slowly to the 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 twelve o'clock. When I reach the twelve o'clock, you see that okay. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. I try to reach to twelve o'clock. Sometimes you see some other normal. Uh, when I reach to the twelve o'clock, I pull back my scope to cut the ventral flap. You will see that uh, I not go beyond to twelve o'clock. I I just stop nearly to twelve o'clock, and then I okay. I just uh, I I pull back pull back the scope. Uh, you see that I pull back the stop, I see the bench of flap. You see that? Yeah. And yeah. I using the cutting to cut the bench of flap. Yeah, yeah. And then I go beyond the, the truck lock. I pull back, cut the bench of flap. So that you are leaving the mucosa? Yeah, leaving a bit, a little bit mucosa because uh, the external sphincter of the bench of flap is beyond to the, uh, the dose of park. Excellent. Like what I mean. Very important point uh, in enucleation. Yeah. That mucosa anyway will not obstruct. So yeah. you are leaving that mucosa and going beneath it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Fantastic, fantastic, yeah. fantastic. Very nice yeah. sweep. Okay. Now you are going away from the danger zone. No, no, not danger zone. Uh, I just uh, completely uh, remove the the attachment of the left lobe to the external sphincter. And I do the same thing with the right lobe. You see that when I feel some resistance, I just pull back the scope and cut the demarcation that I do before, you see? And okay. And I do the same thing with the left uh, uh, right lobe. And after that, after I cut the ventral flap, I remove all the adenoma out of the ethanol sphincter. And now I now I just put up the adenoma to the blood the neck very freely. Because now the adenoma is freely out of the ethanol sphincter. So the risk of the uh, sweat incontinence after the surgery is very minimal. Yeah. So now I, I just use the upper part to to push the the the, the adenoma and use the lower part, the metallic one, to act for coagulation and for the resection. If I see some adhesion, you see that I use the upper part to enucleation. And when I reach near the the, the bladder neck, you you see that there's some longitudinal uh the muscle. Yeah. That means that I reach to the uh, uh, vertical uh, fibers and some vessels. What? Corkscrew vessels? Yeah, there's a lot of vessels uh, need to uh, go to the uh, bladder neck. Fantastic, beautiful demonstration. Yeah. You see that there's a lot of vessels. So before I uh, I cut things, I must write some. If you don't do it, sometimes the the very tiny of the vessel will drop down to the blood and neck, and you very hard to 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 stop the bleeding. So before I push it, I will stop it. Now I push it. You see, you see when I see some bit, I coagulation, and then I push it. Near the blood and neck, there's a lot of the bigger, uh, a lot of vascular. So I must keep it on. <clears throat> I always use the upper part to integration. And now, <clears throat> I 
you see that I complete the enucleation of round adenoma. Uh, before I open the blood the next, I always to check around the, 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 the adenoma to make sure there's no bleeding. Because when you open the blood neck, the water will come out and there's no confined space. If you have a lot of bleeding, it's more bleeding more. So I will check it. There's no bleeding and I open the blood neck. You see that I open the blood neck? You open the blood neck at which o'clock? Always 12 o'clock. Because 12 o'clock is a stressing zone to open the blood neck. So I always check, uh, open the blood neck in the 12 o'clock, or upper part of the adenoma. Fantastic. Very yeah. beautiful. Absolutely bloodless. Uh, yeah. Sometimes it's bloodless. It's, it's blood bloody. If and now I push, push on the adenoma uh, to the bladder. I'm very carefully about the, 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 the margin of the bladder neck because it is a very high risk of bleeding, especially the five and the seven o'clock. You must very careful. Yeah. And I think this is the final attachment. Then I, I completed to the uh, on Adam out of the blood and um, now I just check again and uh, the final calculation. I never use the the the, the mushroom or the the the, the corn drawn to coagulation. I always do the custom loop to go coagulation. Just yeah, because the corn drawn or the mushroom we make a lot of thermal effect and make the patient uh, a lot of dysuria after the procedure. So I you always do the custom loop to coagulation. You see, uh, so so I finished my presentation now and my video clip just so for of the Bible lab. And if you have any question, we can discuss it. Yeah, many uh, more than 180 viewers online. That's great. Uh, you 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 are so meticulous. First thing, very slow, meticulous. Okay. Step by step, that I observe. I also do with. Uh, I have bipolar enucleation. I have uh -huh. a thulium fiber laser. Uh, but I know. In a, I, I, I have first one question. Okay. In a large gland, when you go mid prostatic region, when you push, it will uh -huh. be forward, not the curve of the prostate. How to manage that? When you push like this, it will go front, but not like a concavity, convexity of the lobe. How do you address a large middle part of the prostate? Uh, because I use always do the, uh, the totally end block. So the if I just do the same thing, not depends on the prostate shape, but uh, the middle lobe or the high blood the neck uh, in the prostate is very easy to perforate the prostate neck up the six o'clock and the counter of the prostate. The first thing to identify uh, is uh, the first step I don't wait to uh, go very, go uh, circumferentially. I'm not go uh, upward. I go super, circum, uh, go laterally. The first step over laterally to identify the, the counter of the prostate. And when I release all the adenoma out of the sphincter, I must go to the uh, 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 go forward. And the second thing to be preventing the blood and neck perforation is always open the blood and neck 
at the 12 o'clock and from the 12 o'clock i go down to the six o'clock so i know the counter of the like the next and when they push forward from the six o'clock i i must see the reference the counter of the like the next so i can i know how to uh go up my 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 uh my black to stop go straight under the blood and neck yeah. that's my two keys to preventing uh, the blood and neck one question from adasalam lemma uh, greetings don thank you for the lecture what marcellator uh -huh. do you think provides best cost benefit ratio marcellator um I okay. yeah, but the most later the yeah, fastest one is the from the um, the worst company. I think Pirana. I think that. But uh, you can have the cheaper top option from the hot company from the China. They are so fast. The yeah. first is the Pirana, the, Pirana the is from Wolf company. Yeah. Pirana is from huh? Wolf Wolf company. There is a luminous yeah, Wolf, Wolf uh, company. Wolf company. Yeah. Pirana is from Wolf. Pirana, Pirana. Yeah, yeah. and uh, if you want to cheaper one, you can use from Hawk Company. They are so fast. Hawk, yeah, it's a China, China company. Okay, what is the rate of incontinence in these procedures? Is it related to the size of the gland? The key up to preventing incontinence is. Um, you must do inflation very gently and never force so much if you force so much you will tearing the the uh, external sphincter and always remember release the external sphincter or releasing adenoma out of external sphincter before you push upwards the uh, the, the adenoma and uh, the second thing when you go to the upper part you must um, Uh, cutting the ventral flap because when you read the news on the article on the the technique to to, to preventing the stress incontinence such as anterior posterior resection or also all have the C flap uh, C C resection. One the technique is less tension to the anterior part because the anterior part is the uh, is the Key. because the external sphincter is in the anterior part more more in the anterior part than the uh, uh, lower part yeah and um, uh, when uh, i went and do early abdominal releasing my sweat incontinence rate is uh, very minimal yeah so very one minimal. question from dr manas babu uh, what is a small size resectoscope in enucleation have you ever tried 26 very easy. 26, yeah. Uh, uh, but in whole lab, you know, in whole lab, my friends from Brazil, Philippe had the uh, 22 or 18 uh, laser detector stop for whole lab only. But 18. for the yeah, Bible lab, I do 26. Yeah, uh, a particular comment from. Jose Gabriel Valdivia, he said, uh, fantastic, you have a very refined technique. Uh, thank and, you, Brian. Uh, great boss. Even I like, sir. Uh, sir, watching the program is a honor for us. And he likes you very much. And he uh, said, thank you, uh, thank he you. will not miss your program. Uh, truly, today thank you me. demonstrated very well. I, I wanted to see uh, in near future for a larger gland also, a little larger than this. We, okay. we wanted to see you again, your video okay. after some time, few couple of months, uh, a la very large gland, like more than 100 grams, 150. I think that the black gland or the small, I think the small gland is more difficult in the place than the black gland, yeah. Yes, yes. The so black gland to black your time, yeah. Very nice. So okay. uh, the the important message what is the learning for the juniors how, after how many cases you felt that you got the command over the enucleation with the bipolar loop uh with the bipolar loop i think about 20 cases, 10 uh, cases. Be, yeah be, before you be young the learning curve 
uh, what about the lens is it uh, 30 degree or 10 degree or 0 degree uh, 30 degree 30 degree 30 lens degree. and uh, uh, this loop uh, coral starch also has modified that as a diamond diamond shape have you yeah. ever used i have used that uh, it's also okay uh, uh, you, yes. can't push, you can't push this much uh, actually you know that i i don't like the cast off loop herman loop herman uh, yeah i know i know herman loop actually herman. i don't like the herman, herman loop sorry so it's just, yeah i know i know herman loop i know him very well so i know herman loop the first thing up because I I I um, I think I'm more familiar with the Olympus, more Herman Club, because Herman Club, you know that the black is, is very large. Yeah. And I don't like to use a very large uh, black like this because the, the last black uh, makes very a lot of thermal damage. And the second thing one, the in the Herman Club you have the upper part and the lower part, but the upper upper part. The lower part is more anterior to upper part. So when I do integration, I can see the anterior part. You understand what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You in in, in this the... case, you can see both parts, whereas in Herman loop, you cannot yeah. see both. See. Only so one, part, one yeah. part will be seen. You have to be yeah, blind in part. pushing. You have to be blind in... Uh, yeah, that's, that's, why, that's why in my skill, I want to see when do integration the blunt bisection with the upper part, but in the Herman group, I don't see it. So I think my, my, my technique cannot adapt to the Herman club. Yeah, excellent answer. You are you, you updated on that. Uh, I agree with that. I have used a couple of cases. Uh, I have myself uh, the, uh, uh, the Olympus uh, loop as well as a short period of time I have, lo I have used Herman loop. Uh, now I am slightly focusing on TFL, uh, which is giving reasonable fast uh, uh, of course some amount of uh, some amount of mechanical energy i am using let us see how uh, as the time goes on which one will give the better results only prospective randomized uh, uh, control trials can answer the question so with this uh, uh, more than 200 members have seen our program uh, for all the viewers thank you very much and dong thank yeah, you thank very you. much uh, tomorrow we are doing uh, you, as you all know, all the urologists want to do transplant, kidney transplant. Uh, our Urology Society of India uh, recent president, president uh, previous, president uh, Dr. Anant Kumar sir, who is the teacher of teachers, uh, will give talk on basics of renal artery, renal vein and uretric reimplantation basics. Uh, with that, uh, we will conclude the session. Once again, thank you, Dong. We will call you back you, again sometime with some more techniques. Uh, we will be in touch with you. You have been helpful to me uh, in making this pure uh, 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 forum. Uh, yeah, the initial I person so. I contacted and for your encouragement, I am very thankful. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Chara. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye.